Hello and welcome to another episode of my VR development. In this video I want to show some of the latest stuff that I've been doing with menus. Uh, so it's still a work in progress, but let me just take on the pencil. Just going to calibrate first, like that. <clears throat> so you'll notice that the menus uh, from the hands are gone now, and instead of that, I'm going to drag from my. I'm just going to walk over here. Uh, I showed a little bit of this on a, in one of the previous videos, so I'm going to grab behind my back here, and I'm going to pull out this menu here. I also added a little sound when I pull it out, and as you can see. It doesn't right now allow me to pull this one out, but the idea is that you can pull things out from this menu and drag it onto the world. So I also took that, right now I only have the field of view um, working, so and also only the left hand. So what happens is that I'm not moving my hand, you can't see that, uh, but as soon as I get within reach of this, it's going to change the hand and also rotate it. Just a little bit, like this, and then you can push down this button. You can also grab this menu and you can push it like this. So you can walk around with it like this. And the last feature I got to this menu is that you can take it and away like that. So once you do that, uh, it's gonna just land in your inventory again. So that's pretty cool, I think. Also, if you dump it in the world and you walk away from it, it's just gonna disappear if you get too far away from it. Um, so I also have a uh, did some testing with collisions here. It's there's a little bit of sea fighting here. But, um, you know, I cannot walk into this. I can stick my head into it and it's going to turn my uh, side flat. I can duck underneath it. And also the same with this one. So I have to get really low on the fall in order to get underneath there. Um, so that was some stuff. Um, the rest of the features you may have seen. Uh, I changed the way that you fly now, so that you hold uh, the grip buttons and the trigger in order to uh, activate the flight mode. And if you hold both of them, obviously you can fly faster. to add some um, sounds to these when I resize them also. I think that would be cool. Another idea I was thinking about is a way of, for example, pulling this. Now we can manipulate it like this. Um, but um, for example, if I grab this side here and I grab the opposite side and then I pull it from each side, then it would only expand in that on that axis. So for example if I pull on this and this side it would expand both on this axis and this axis but not on this axis so it wouldn't expand or uh, size uniformly. Also I need to fix out the pivot point here. It's kind of off. should be in the middle. Also have a true uh, two hand gripping. Right now it just switches hand. Anyway, there are some of the ideas um, I'm working on. I'm eventually going to see if I can get some time to work on that. And uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to hold back on posting a, a playable version 
just a little bit more. I wanted actually to, to get this one out, but I haven't put give it, uh, given it any attention, uh, the stuff that I was fighting with last time, with the crashing that people had. So I'm afraid it will just crash anyway. In fact, if you are interested in trying it out, um, leave a comment in the description. I'll send you a copy of it so you can try it out. Otherwise, uh, keep an eye out. I'm gonna see if I can keep improving this. Uh, I'm also trying to implement a few other uh, movement methods, but that's something I'm gonna hold back on uh, just for a little while. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna focus on these menu th systems and different small additions. Uh, so you're gonna have to wait with any new locomotion systems. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye bye.